I made a mistake. Once upon a time, I, now 33F, had a baby in college with my fuck buddy, now 32M. After spending time together we grew fond of each other and started a real relationship. We stayed together for about 3 years. However, we were young and immature. It was great at first, but about 2 years in I started being a turd. Parted whenever the baby was with grandparents, I nagged at him, etc. I realized that I grew up too quick and wasn't ready to settle down. So, I moved out. Fast forward 7 years. We've both dated other people, but never married. We are in regular contact and share custody. One day we were playing tennis with our kid when I looked at him and it dawned on me that I made a mistake. This love that I had been searching for was right in front of me, it was my little family. It was him. So, I told him how I felt. He said he's uncomfortable trusting me again, but that he'll consider being open to trying again. I get it. Though now, every time we're having family time I fall for him more and more. I really want want to make this work. What do I do? Just wait for him to bring it up. Put the moves on him. Ask him if I can make dinner and then talk about it. Thanks in advance. Edit. A lot of people have mentioned how immature it was of me to leave him to go party. I want to clarify that I have not been having my fun for 7 years. I didn't leave him because I wanted to run wild. I left because I wasn't ready to play housewife so young. I had big career ambitions and wanted to pursue them rather than be in a spousal role. Not that there is anything wrong with that. Just didn't want that back then. I mentioned my partying as an example of how I was not always a great partner. TL, doctor I broke up with my baby daddy seven years ago and finally realized he's the man of my dreams. Show him how much you've changed, be a good mom and also take care of him. Small things like maybe bringing him his favorite food and saying I remember this was your favorite or any other way that might remind him of good memories you may have had in the past. If you had recurring fights with him in the past, maybe about you partying on weekends or you not allowing him to go out with friends, show him you've changed. Maybe suggest a weekend trip with you, him and your child, or encourage him to go out with his friends on a weekend and offer to take care of your child. After some time, either he will make the move on you or you can bring it up. Good luck. From his perspective, things were great for two years and then you became a horrible partner. You say you've matured, but all he knows is you change your mind and you do it after he has become invested. In the time you've spent together over the last few years, what has he seen that indicates you are more mature and capable of being loyal in a relationship? Congratulations. You're growing up. Just do what you think you're supposed to do. Take care of your son and stuff backslash carrot backslash carrot backslash carrot I agree with this statement and I hope that it works out for you but you do have a hill to climb here as you have already shown him some of the negative traits you have or had when you were younger if you and want an objective view on your chances at reconciliation with him you could play the opposite roles game think what if he was the one who parted whenever the baby was with grandparents nagged at you and eventually left the relationship use this insight along with what you know about his personality to figure out if you really have a chance here or if he is just being nice even if it doesn't work out at least you know that he is an awesome dad backslash edit for clarity if he's willing couples counseling might help show him you're committed to not repeating past mistakes and want to learn and grow with him I think you should give him time, but whatever you do, keep this from your kid for a while. I remember being incredibly confused as a child when my parents split up, were ever flirtatious or anything. If you realized things weren't going to work out, it's best for your son not to even start getting the idea or hope in his head that it might. My 27M mother, 50SF, is taking 90% of my brother's 25M wages and I don't know what to do. My brother has Asperger's syndrome, although is low on the spectrum, and is still living at home. He has trouble reading social situations and putting himself in other people's shoes, and has very little knowledge of the value of money, but at the same time is able to work a retail job completely fine and in most general respects is your average person. My mother is relatively high paid, 
and since COVID has been working from home. For many years my brother did not work, but two years ago he got a job and has been doing well since. It is near minimum wage but is reliable. In the years that he did not have a job my mother blamed him for her poor financial situation. Although in my view it was her fault he did not have a job as she had not put in the effort needed to teach him how to cope in interviews and how to present himself properly. Due to this, once he did get a job she started taking 90% of his wages to make up for the years he did not work. So he is working for 80p per hour. This has been going on for two years, and he is fine with it as, number one, he does not appreciate the true value of money, and number two, my mother says she needs it to pay off the debts that were built up from having to support him financially. I feel like she is taking advantage of his kind-hearted and innocent nature to take his wages. This isn't the only issue. My brother loves computer games and writing, so after a year of saving up the small wage he was allowed, he bought a nice computer. He was going to put it in his room but my mother convinced him to put it in the living room so he wouldn't be upstairs all of the time. But since Covid she has been using his computer for all of her work, with the excuse being her laptop is not powerful enough, and due to debt she cannot afford a replacement. I disagree that she cannot afford one, as she seems to make new pointless purchases every day and wastes large amounts on food that often ends up rotting and has a relatively good and rising wage. As he often works later in the day this means a lot of the time he isn't able to use his computer in his free time. I have brought up how unfair this, and her taking so much of his wages is, but I was met with a stone wall of how I do not understand how hard financials were when he did not work, and how she cannot afford a good laptop so has to use his computer. I brought up how a cheap desktop PC would be adequate, but she discarded that as not good enough. Whenever I try and convince her this is not right I just meet resistance. I can't bring it up to my brother because he legitimately believes she needs the money and that this is retribution for the time he did not work. How can I approach this moving forwards? Too long didn't read, my mother is taking 90% of my brother's small wages and uses the one thing he actually spent money on for her own high paid work. I'm going to guess you are in the UK because you said he works for ATP, you should report your mum to your local safeguarding adults board. You can do this online anonymously. Your mum is committing financial abuse, this is very serious and for your brother's sake she needs to stop. You may want to try to speak to an adult social care or social worker in your area, especially one who is experienced with adults with mild to moderate cognitive issues like your brother has. They can give you way better information than any of us. Chances are good though, that if your brother is as high functioning as he seems to be, nothing will change until he chooses to change it. Keep on being clear with them both the current situation is wrong. But besides that, try to maintain a relationship with your brother that is separate from your relationship with your mother. If you can, you want to help stop the isolation your mother is inflicting on him by keeping him financially dependent on her. Is it possible to provide him a social worker? I'm 24 and my brother is 22. Our stories are eerily similar. My brother is also on the low end with asperge and my mother takes advantage of his kindness and willingness to help our family. The difference is my mother is recently unemployed but was still demanding most of his salary when she had a job. I too feel helpless in this. It kind of feels like she's keeping him in a box to always support her financially. And man I'm just as stuck as you are with this. I wish I could help but all I can offer is sympathy as I am in the same boat and understand exactly what you're going through. Hopefully everything works out, for your family and for mine. Good luck buddy. You need to report her to adults social care for financial abuse. I, 37F, mentioned I had no complaints to a third party and, 41M, so took offense. I, 37F, recently joined an online dating app that has a friends section with hopes of building some friendships to take off after things settle down with C19. I switched between the dating and friends section searching for people not necessarily on the hunt for a relationship and got a little swipe happy. I matched with a woman who instantly messaged me and started talking about her and her husband so I revisited her profile and had a no moment. I'm not sure how I missed that her profile was made to find naughty friends to join her and her husband. 
husband. I messaged my 41M, so of a few months under two years saying I think I messed up and we kind of laughed about it. I kept the conversation friendly with the woman and at some point she asked how the sex life is with my so to which I replied no complaints. When providing an update to my so I sent a screenshot and he snapped no complaints. And this has now become an issue with us. Me saying I have no complaints is just that. I'm very sexually satisfied with him and literally have no complaints in that department. He thinks by me saying that, our sex life has just made me and was quite offended. We have gone back and forth with this for a couple of days and today he told me anybody else would agree that no complaints is not a good thing. So here I am welcoming your feedback on this. If your so said they had no complaints with you sexually, how would you take it and or how would it make you feel? Too long didn't read, I, 37F, mentioned I had no sexual complaints to a third party and, 41M, so took offense. Okay has no one noticed the bridge out ahead sign with neon lights flashing? Why would you be on a dating app if you've been in a relationship for almost two years? It wasn't for friends because you were on the dating part. Why do people insist on jumping out of a plane with no parachute and get upset when the ground hurts? Okay, after reading your comments that you joined because he's on a dating app, I'm thinking this sounds like classic projection. He actually is on a dating app because he wants to upgrade and now believes that you are as well. He took an innocent comment and twisted it to fit the narrative. Bigger issue, if you are uncomfortable with him on dating apps, how has this been addressed? No one forgets they are on a dating app. All he has to do is delete the app when you talk about it. 10 seconds detour. He just doesn't want to. No complaints is the proper answer because it would be fucking weird and inappropriate to discuss your sex life with a stranger considering you don't plan to swing. Does your husband want you blabbing about your sex life to strangers? Jeez. Man. You two are in a committed relationship and both have dating apps. Sounds like you'll need to break up and communicate better on expectations. I am very confused by the nature of this relationship.